Welcome back to the channel everyone. So today we have a pretty cool, relatively short video on something that I've been wanting to do to this car for a long, long, long time. And I haven't been able to find a good solution for it. Everything I find is for older models or the key start ones, nothing for the push start Genesis. And today I'm very happy to say that this video has been sponsored by MyKey Premium. MyKey Premium is a complete plug and play remote start solution for the Genesis Coupe. Now unlike other systems that are out there, usually you have a separate key fob or something like that. This is simple. It's a very simple installation. We're gonna do it here real quick. It doesn't take too long. And it uses the existing key fob, so you don't have any extra fobs that you have to deal with. And it should work just great. So without further delay, we're gonna get into this install. And like I said, it should be pretty quick. I've put a link in the description below. So check it out. You can find it for this car. You can find it for a bunch of other cars as well. It's all gonna work the same way. But let's get into this install and we're gonna see how this thing works. All right, so in the box, we have the actual module. And this actually gets mounted underneath the passenger seat um, footwell. And then we have the wiring harness. There's two of them here. This one here is going to go in line with the push start and then these other ones go underneath the passenger side footwell. But we'll get into that right now. So for starters, we're on the driver's side and we've got to take off that bolt there and we're going to pop off this one side near the ignition button. All right, so it helps if you have a trim removal tool and you're just going to pop that out, pull this back and we're going to disconnect that wire right there. We're going to take this wire harness and we're going to plug it into that wire and then this side will plug back into the ignition button. And then that's it for over on this side. We just need to pop this all back in and we'll put that screw back in there and then we're going to move over to the passenger side footwell. Alright, so up here we're looking at this black box that's right here. Over on this side we're going to take this harness and unplug that. Alright, so once we have that down, we're going to take this, we're going to plug it into this part of the harness. And then these two cables will get plugged into the box, and then this cable will get plugged back in where that harness came from. Let's take a look at the dip switches that we have here. So, this can be used for BK1 or BK2. Both models require you to have the 1 and 2 dip down. 3 and 4 should be up on the red. If you have a BK2, all of your dip switches are going to be up. If you have a BK1, you're going to take the black one and drop it down. Mine's a BK2, so all the dip switches are up. So this is what yours should look like for a BK2. So to start it, we're just going to press our lock button and then twice with a slight interval. It'll chirp. And it starts. And if you need to turn it off, just hit it twice with a slight interval and it turns off. So this couldn't be any easier to install. Super easy, took less than five minutes, just a couple little things, pop it in place. It's all working from your factory key fob, which is awesome. You don't have the extra bulky stuff that you gotta carry. So in the link description below, I have a coupon code for 10% off. Click that link, order yours, get it installed in your Genesis. Like I said, you can use it in the BK1 or BK2, only difference is those little dip switches. But that's it, and then you have remote start on your Genesis Coupe, which is awesome, especially if you live in areas where it's cooler, or you've got the turbo model like me, and you want to let it warm up for a little bit before you actually go out and start having some fun. But if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. As you can tell, we are all torn apart. There's a lot of stuff at the paint shop now. It's going to be coming back here in the next week or so. Plus, there is, I have confirmation, there is a V8 coming to the channel, and it's going to be coming sooner than you think. So stay tuned for that. But that's all for me for now, guys. Until next time, take it easy.